Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it is time for my client Emma's vlog, which is many people's favorite segment. Uh, you know, the longest lasting vlog we've had on here. And uh, workouts were okay for this week, well, we'll call it this week, but it's really a training week. Uh, pretty much the best she could bench due to some detraining was uh, 135 this week, which, you know, ironically, I always get silly trolls who come through who have to ban who are like, she can't even bench 135 when she benches 155 regularly. Uh, but, you know, she can only get that because of detraining this time. So, uh, people who are going to wonder what's going on there notice the vlogs are spaced out. Uh, again, she's been extremely busy extremely busy there's been some business and personal life stuff that have gotten in the way and when people say well you can train anyways well not necessarily not if you're doing uh, a bunch of work and you don't have access to the gym because you're not at your home right if you're doing actual stuff that prevents you physically and time wise from getting to the gym then yeah you're not always going to be able to train and keep in mind, this is someone who now has enough of a base because, again, she benches like 155, she deadlifts 315 plus both styles. You know, you guys have seen her knock out 10 pull-ups. Who, she's going to have a strong base no matter what, but there's going to be a little bit of detraining unless we stay on top of all of that. But the other thing is, it's going to come back quick. You know, and as her coach, uh, you know, we've made the decision to go ahead and do her vlogs during this phase anyways because they're popular people enjoy them uh, and it's a really long going thing so there's no reason to remove the vlogs uh, even though for some reason uh, people like to be critical of these things which is ridiculous because life happens and I think people forget when dealing with some of these clients some of these clients are not competitive athletes and I think it's because people see her lifts they're under the assumption that she competes in something that she's a serious athlete because, I mean, my God, I mean, two deadlifts over three plates on multiple styles of deadlifts is a lean woman, right? Is a lean woman with a low athletic body fat. Well, the assumption is, uh, is by people that she's competing. And no, she does strength training just to stay strong and fit. Okay. She is now technically general population. She used to be an athlete when a little bit younger not strength sports, but she's general population. And again, when you have busy lifestyle, sometimes the gen pop have phases where they're only getting to the gym once or twice a week. The, the downside to that is that you're not going to maintain everything when you do that. You're going to maintain 95%. And that's okay. Because again, she'll be back to making progress before long. Once all of these things are, are situated, uh, she'll be back to making progress. So what's her training look like? Uh, so we also did a 215, I believe. I believe that was a 215 box squat for a training max. Uh, you guys see she does pull-ups. She does some closer grip benching. Uh, we do a bunch of band work for her triceps. And then on the max effort days right now, we do, we do a squat or a deadlift. She's doing one-legged squats got her doing glute ham raises, reverse hypers, hanging leg raises. All right, then we get over to the speed work. Speed bench, she rotates grips, right? We do three sets against heavy bands, still lightweight, uh, but we do a lot of band tension for her. Three sets with each grip, all right? We do a wide, a medium, and a close. Uh, then I have her do, you know, pull-ups or chin-ups. We do flat dumbbell presses, upright rows, more triceps now that being said once we're in a situation where we can take her volumes and stuff back up i will add more rowing in all right we're going to add more rowing add more overall volume again once everything allows for it but keep in mind her volumes are low and the thing is i don't always have as her coach while she's doing uh, the stuff that they're needing to take care of i don't always get to know how many weeks days a week she's going to train at the moment all right so she's been communicating you know as she's able to uh sending me the footage over and so because i don't always know what she's going to be able to do with that i've been programming with the assumption that we're training four days a week so that's what this sheet is and we've got her at really minimum volumes 
minimum volumes that we can get away with. But if we, we have the workout spaced out, there's going to be a little bit of regression in there. It's going to be a little bit of regression. But the main thing is that she continues to train. She still looks great. She's still fit. She's still strong. Right? So we have all that. And we're maintaining the base. Maintaining the base for now. And I always tell people, no, we don't want just maintenance ever if we're, we're serious. If we're in a situation to make gains, we should either be losing body fat or we should be gaining muscle and strength. But in this case, uh, life is kind of getting in the way. And I don't want her cutting right now. Right? This would not be a good time for that. So essentially, we're forced to, to maintain at the moment. And I'm not worried about that. This is a long time client very long time client so if we can keep her where she is until then hey great then we go back to making progress so what's the rest of the lower look like uh, it's speed speed boxes speed pulls against bands uh, doing good mornings we rotate bars around a little bit we're using the safety bar at the moment then she does glute ham raises All right we do glute ham raises arguably the best hamstring exercise out there we do uh, reverse hyper extensions and then we do hanging leg raises again some of my favorite movements there's some of my favorite movements i mean really these four are, are four of my biggest for for lower body development all right for supplemental work i love these good mornings with specialty bars glute ham raises reverse hyper extensions hanging leg raises to be honest most people, in a, if this is done off the back end of their ME and DE work, these four movements would be phenomenal for most people. Now, they probably want a little more volume than we got worked in for her at the moment. But these are some of my go-tos. So if, if someone has access to this stuff, we're going to use it. This is my preferred uh, set of supplemental lifts. And, uh, I mean, that should be worth noting, you know, some of you out there, but think particularly for, for the women who want to maximize lower body development. Look at, look at what we do for her. Look at what we do for Emma for these. We do max effort work. We do dynamic effort work. And then I, I like to follow it up with, uh, at the moment with good mornings, glute ham raises, reverse hyper extensions, and, you know, then hanging leg raises. As a base template, this is going to be tough to beat. For if you're just general pop women, this would be your ultimate combination. It'll get you a really, really long way. Stuff I use regularly, stuff I program regularly. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.